guys welcome to the current sessions live at south by southwest my name is jade and i'm welcoming you to pledge house and this is at the black heart we're on rainy street uh feel free to do a round of applause here let's do it you guys are here man uh so we're gonna be chatting and there'll be some conversation later but i just want to get the music going because uh when we first heard morgan saint's music it kind of blew us away it's very vibe heavy some fingers snapping if you feel like moving please do that uh and let's get this going out of new york it's morgan saint on the current sessions hatred is not in my blood Euphoria is what I feel in my dreams Love is what I'm searching for So take me away to safer grounds Where we can run free
Morgan Saint here. So, uh, Morgan Saint, let's get another round of applause now that we got the mic going. Uh, so, congratulations. I just saw you tweet a photo. 17 Hero is now out. Going to be out soon? My EP 17 Hero is out, but I just finished uh, my full album, which I'm excited about. So, what, what's it called? Yeah, that's huge. I didn't choose a name for it yet so if you have any ideas feel free to shout it out <laughs> we'll throw them out at you but let's go let's go back to the beginning because you've been playing guitar you've been journaling and writing for a really long time uh what made you take those kind of private things of yours and decide to make some music for us that's a good question <laughs> i don't know i don't feel like it was like a definitive moment in my life where i decided this is what i want to do um I actually went to school for visual arts, so I was really focused on that. Um, and I was just like writing in the in the meantime to, I don't know, writing helps me so much with just like dealing with emotions mm -hmm. and figuring things out for myself. So um, as soon as I graduated college a couple years ago, well, like less than a couple years ago, um, I actually reached out to my friend Cass, who is playing the guitar for me. and. Um, he has a studio and I was like, I wanna take what I'm making past what I can do in my own in my own apartment. So um sent him a song and he was like, Yeah, I love this and we got together and now we have a full album and uh we've kind of ended up here somehow. So it's it feels very meant to be. Yeah, that's really huge. Uh well, you know, you are a visual you went to Parsons, which is a huge Parsons accomplishment. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but the visual means a lot to you. And I'm, I'm curious, because uh, you also did illustration. Uh, how did, when you're drawing, what do you listen to? What inspires you in that way? Yeah, I mean, I do draw and I paint, but I do a lot of um, like graphic design and like photo work too. So although I went to school for illustration, I've, I've kind of just been able to like use that to help my music. But 
I don't know. I don't listen to as much music as I feel like most people would think I would. Um, try to just stay in my own little zone, but I don't know. I like to listen to anything from hip hop to you know singer songwriter pop. It's all over the board. Yeah, you can kind of hear that that mixture in your own music. Yeah. I love that you add the snaps and everything into it. Is that something you love that the snaps? I love that you love the snaps. <laughs> no, that's my favorite part. Uh, well, so when you're when you're recording, you were saying that you did a lot of it in in your bathroom in the shower, people which, keep which most that people up. sing in. That was like fine. a weird quote. <laughs> I don't bring my guitar in the shower um, when it's running, but I live in like a small studio apartment in Manhattan, and um, I one have neighbors that complain that I make too much noise. And I, too, feel like I get, like, good acoustics in my shower when it's not on. So sometimes I'll, like, bring my guitar into the shower. I know it sounds weird, but, like, try it if you play the guitar or sing. Like, it sound, you sound good in there. <laughs> well, so what was, what was the first thing that you heard that you were like, I, I want to do that? Was there anybody you saw or thought of when you were starting to do your own thing? I feel like my earliest memory of like loving someone as a musician as an artist as a writer um was dallas green i don't know if you guys are familiar with him at all um no tell us more about dallas green he just has like such an awesome voice and he writes about things that are like just so personal and that's something that i strive to do so and he's super like just him and his acoustic guitar mostly and that was when i was like learning to pair I started playing the piano and then I was learning to pair like what I was writing lyrically with stuff I was making up on the piano so it just was like helping me understand okay this is how it can translate um but yeah that's kind of my earliest memory so what's your favorite art and music pairing if you're going to be doing two things at once what is that for you two things at once I don't know, it's funny, because, like, when I'm making music, I don't listen to a lot of other music. I, like, look at a lot of photography or painting and stuff like that, because I feel like I'm able to be inspired without feeling like I'm trying to mimic what some, what, what another musical artist is doing. So they kind of, like, work together. So what's the, what's the art that's inspiring you right now? Oh, gosh. I, that's a tough question. Um... <laughs> I, like a lot of photography, like I'm really big into photography right now. Um, I'm I'm inspired by like my friends too, like people around me that are making art is like my most inspired. Like I love to see what other people are doing and collaborate with them and stuff like that. So well, we've been enjoying the music a lot uh, at the current. We've been playing you a lot, but I'm Thank very so excited because the last song you're going to play for us is a song that I've been playing over and over and over again. Um, but I wanted to get back to some music for you guys. I know you guys want to listen to some more music. So let's hear it. Put your hands together. Morgan Saint. Thank you. This next song is um, it's called Glass House, and it's, it's also on my EP. It's out right now if you want to listen to it after this. And um, it's just a really personal song for me. Would you jump if I told you you can never lose Empty house, glass walls, caving through the roof Mama told me not to play with glass when I was young Held in tight, waiting for my hands to come undone Broke my skin, broke my heart Broke the wall near the TV room Is it nothing new? Is it nothing to you? Shackled to the back of your head, boy Hoping you will fall down into me Crash into me Won't you love me now? Fucking love me now It's all broken Unspoken Just breathe me in Taste me on your lips You can let me go If you need to let me go If I told you I was broken, would you love me still? Shattered hearts, crossed stars, never saw myself. True love 
eyes never cover up each other's scars Fuck me over once or twice, yeah, who's count scars? Shut my eyes, shut my mouth, shut the door to a little hole Is it nothing new? Is it nothing to you? Shackled to the back of your head, boy I really appreciate you listening. Um, this is the last song I'm gonna play. It's called Just Friends. If you feel like dancing, I don't know if this is a dancing atmosphere, but this would be the one to dance to.
Thank you guys so much. My name is Morgan Saint. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Keep it going for Morgan Saint. That was a vibe, man. Uh, we're going to keep the current sessions going, so keep checking back in at thecurrent.org. But thank you so much to you guys and to Blackheart. We are out here South by Southwest West on Rainy Street. And Morgan Saint, thank you once again. And you guys can continue outside. Raylan Baxter is going to be starting in just a couple of minutes.